Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this soft cataract surgery where I had rexis run out. This is a posterior subcapsular cataract. The nucleus is very soft, almost clear. And now the surgery has been started. This is the main incision. The anterior chamber is being filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The cornea is covered by HPMC. It keeps better visibility and the magnification also increases a bit. And now the side port is made about 90 degree away from the main incision. And now I have started capsulorexis. And now as I go to 9 o'clock, see what happens. Rexis goes to periphery at 8 o'clock. And now I want to rescue this capsular tag which has gone to periphery and bring it on the track. Yes, it is come. Let us observe this in slow motion. I hold it here. This is one third of the real speed and give two or three jerky pulls. One, two, three. Three jerky pulls, four and it comes. And this pull is given in a parabolic path, not straight. No straight pull towards the center. Pull parabolic, in a parabolic path and it comes on the track. And now I inject some more visco and I do not want another rexis. So I quickly complete the rexis. Now hydrodissection is done. Let us observe rest of the surgery. Uh, the surgery did not take much time. But let us see how we can manage this almost clear soft nucleus. After hydrodissection, the fecunidyl goes in with its bevel down and a vacuum is started. The whole uh, nuclear mass, nuclear epinuclear mass tumbles and with mild ultrasonic energy, maybe 20 or 30 percent ultrasonic energy, the nucleus, epinucleus is managed. By the FECO needle itself, in most of the cases, I can remove cortex, most of the cortex easily, but it, it has a learning curve and you have to uh, take some precautions before you use the FECO needle to remove the cortex. Now I enlarge the main wound a bit because I am using a B cartridge and a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens has been selected in this case and here goes the lens. In the left hand is my Mohantas chopper, it is not a Sinsky hook and here goes the uh, lens and the lens has been placed in the capsular bag. The haptics are placed at uh, one haptic is towards 10.30 or 11 o'clock and the other haptic is towards 4.30 o'clock, 4 o'clock and the visco is cleaned from the capsular bag. And from the anterior chamber, the lens is very stable and central. And now, bimanual irrigation aspiration is being used for some time for the removal of rest of the viscoelastic substance. And now we are closing the case. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is hydrated. 
this corneal stroma at the side port is hydrated to close the side port. The main wound has been constructed in such a way that it will not require hydration. This is the final lavage. At this time, a gentle stream of fluid goes towards the corneal endothelium and any visco sticking to the corneal endothelium is removed. The integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention.